Alrighty, so the time is 9.35 p.m. in the UK and um, funny enough as what you can accomplish with a new computer um, time um, it's, it's very quick so this all the normal probably good work that's been done on an A380 to get it to this stage has maybe been four hours um, now of course what I'm gonna demo today is just trying to just get it in the air for the first time of course um, now it's not tuned it is missing a lot of I'd say critical systems if you want to put it that way being the um, your damper system is not on at the moment because those need PID tuning um, which I do separately the of course the autopilot system but it's not really critical um, the more critical ones the fly by wire system the wing leveler and pitch leveler system are not um, in at the moment either um, so we are flying a pretty bare bones plane and again I did say it's not tuned as much so um, don't expect this to be a representation of the final flying ability we just want to get it into the air so uh, we do know our usual intruder is uh, there we go it's going to make its way over the runway so we've got time to wait We're gonna go get ourselves lined up. I think the only automated system we have that's on or available will be the uh, auto throttle because it's, it's just a really simple PID system. So uh, she's usually able to adapt it anyway. Um, now um, my flying skills, let's just say, um, probably are degraded. I've not flown is it for maybe a month. Um, but you know he, he, the A380 should be a relatively uh, thick bird so the flying should be pretty s I wouldn't say simple but should be pretty uh, manageable at its size and there goes our offender in front of us so uh, it's going to cause us to wait I do like how uh, A380 feels just so thick you can really feel the weight with this plane when taxiing as well as when you see the speed I'm going to put the park brakes on do my final checks put the gear the, I'm going to put the flaps down because I need some flaps of course if I want to take this off I actually don't remember the weight of oh, the weight is about m I believe about 500 tons 500 tons so we're taking off a pretty heavy bird today flaps are ready and on just just check that the spoilers work spoilers work let's just have a look that surfaces all work great on the radar great okay perfect uh, I think that's off our place um, so C cam in P off Oopsie. Down to 50. I don't know if that is uh, coming on my side. Let me quickly just put on the FPS checker. And let's go. That delay looks so weird. I don't know if that's on my side. I think. Hope I've got is not alive. Okay. Actually, don't know when. Beat one. Oh, here we go. Now, of course, the gear system, that's the other thing that's not working. Uh, see me trying to make a mistake there. There we go. Now, I'm so used to pressing the middle mouse button whenever I want to turn the four wheel on the salmon because, as you know, on the fly-by-wire system, um, you're able to fly the plane, of course, press middle mouse button and it will hold your last pitch and stuff like that. Uh, of course, without that, it's basically I've got to press L, have a look at what I want to see. Um, and it's not going to hold the pitch um, or where I'm flying, so, you know. But there we go. First time we've got her in the air. Should be. There we go. 
reduce the rudder just a bit more because it's actually not at the power it should be in terms of it needs to be maybe about a 0.5 times stronger than what it is now um, it's an A-rated rudder you do this in the air and it's not like that right bump it just goes flying so uh, we need to uh, of course go and adjust that later on again when we start the tuning now uh, let's go into L mode keep ourselves held and now what you're seeing there is we're adjusting the horizontal stabilizer as you can see we're dropping and then we will climb ourselves up so the horizontal stabilizer works that side of physics work now ideally if I if I was like level flying okay but I just wanted to tr like adjust my altitude without having to use the elevator like the autopilot system would do all you do is just change the um, horizontal trim and that's how you do it and you would basically trim yourself for a certain altitude all right now I'm not feeling confident with landing this um, if I'm being quite honest a very very big plane um, but yeah I mean, it's just, it's just, um, it feels so nice to see the A3 to finally in its natural habitat it's been on the ground for quite a while so uh, seeing it in the air is a bit of a big thing for uh, a lot of people so we're getting there get some close-up pictures, you know, some close-up pictures of that on the carriage. Okay, so with that done, let's uh, line up manual approach for the, uh, for the apple. Now, I actually quite don't know the uh, limited, um, the limited B for landing this, so I'm actually kind of afraid that I will stall before I even get there.
This from such and such uh, land in there. A uh, little stall, as you can see, um, was unstable there. And no flare mode means no barely any flare. So, as you can see, I had to drop the reverse thrusters in, get some back pressure in, and drop the plane on the ground. Um, but she flies kind of, she flies okay actually in the air. It's just when you come into landing, you don't know um, the stall speed. So, it seems that the stall speed. Um, on this like particular uh, physics as it is right now where it's on tune was about 170 160 because I, I lost control uh, midway through and just managed to recover um, as we picked up speed as we div dove down um, just at the last few seconds but yeah um, the, the A380 feels really nice in the air uh, as is um, but uh, of course you would not want to be trying to attempt to land it um, and of course it will get miles better when all the systems are on in this chain. So there's your uh, first flying show of the uh, A380 on the new update so we expect this week for the update to drop and um, as you can see now it's in the air that's all about um, looking confirmed so see you on the next one.